I couldn't find any connection for the magnet for this um, Blohm Simplex 7. I searched in all the cabinets and everything. There's no terminals. I found some DC in there, 80 volts, but it doesn't vary with the uh, controls. Um, so anyway, I gave up and I bought this uh, MagChuck controller. And it outputs 0 to 100 volts DC. Um, so you switch it to the magnet part. And you can see that nothing going on there. Nice thing is it's variable. So 20%, 30%. So got a little bit of grab. I can still move it. Go up there around 60. I can, if I really gronk on it, I can get it to move. 80%. It's pretty solid, but I can push on it. I think you'd be safe to grind there. Now what's interesting, when you turn it off, this is what happens with mag chucks. There's still residual magnetism. I can't, there, it's, it's still sticky, right? Um, but on this one here, you turn it to release and it pulses um, AC through the mag chuck. And the AC acts like a uh, demagnetizer. So once it gets through the cycle, see, no more magnetism. Let's try it again. We'll go back to here. We'll go up. I don't want to go past 80. Okay, so that sucked real good. We go down to zero. Still, I can move it, but it's, it's stuck on there pretty good. So then we go over to release. Let's go through its cycle. And the more timer you have, the more it goes through the cycle. Okay, so now we're done. Just lifts off. So you don't have to worry about dragging your freshly ground uh, part across the magnet and scratching up the other side. Nice feature. So I'm happy with it. Just a uh, something I found on eBay. To determine which leads coming from the magnet go on to the magnet controller, I took the resistance readings across each of the three leads, each pair. Um, so what I got was, oops, let's measure this. So we got 72 ohms. So that to me tells me you're looking through a coil. And then to ground, we're up in the kilo ohms on both those leads. When this wasn't disconnected, uh, connected to the box, I was reading uh, infinite resistance. So that tells me that these two leads are the coil for the magnet. So this thing comes with its own cord. You hook up uh, AC, your DC going to your magnet and your grounds.